right guys so a quick video here my buddy Todd just called me and uh, he uh, got one of those new Can-Am motorcycles it's like a three-wheel motorcycle but pretty badass and uh, he just gave me a call said he was up at the beach which is near my house and uh, if I wanted to come check it out so uh, I figured I'd do a video we could all check it out together and uh, see what it's all about I think we'll do a part two where he and I go uh, out to a remote location and uh, you know let it rip we'll, we'll take the ca corvette out with him and the can-am and we'll just do some like zero to 60 type stuff and uh see how it all goes so yeah we'll be there in a minute and uh we'll check this thing out good timing i guess i was just pulling in i saw todd coming the other way here he is right here pulling up in the old can-am look at that bad boy man that looks nice Street or yeah, whatever's easier. We can do it right here in this open spot or whatever you want to do. Sure. Up to you. All right, guys. So that's Todd right there. There's the Can Am. We're gonna go uh, just park right over here and uh, check this bad boy out. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, so this is uh, my buddy Todd, like I told you about on the way over here. Steve. What's up, brother? Hey. So uh, this is the beast, huh? Yeah, this is a 2020 Riker Rally. Uh, basically, my little uh, gym runner. Everyone in our neighborhood has a golf cart, uh, but their golf carts don't do 100. Yeah, that's yeah. quite the golf cart. Yeah, so instead of getting a golf cart, I decided on something a little more aggressive and got a, a Riker here. It's uh, I'm trying to picture this with a set of golf clubs strapped to the side. That's pretty good. I like it's that. a little tougher on with the golf clubs, <laughs> but what's nice about this is uh, you can't take it on the highway. A lot of the golf carts are as far as road ready, but this is the only thing you can take on the highway. Right. Uh, it's a three wheeler. It's basically a big wheel for uh, big guys like myself. I remember the big wheel. Yeah. So, I'm dating myself. So it's a simple operation and simple automatic. There's nothing really to do. Uh, there's no gears to change. Right. You just you just start it. The only uh, mods that I've done, and the best place to find as far as modifications for a uh, Riker is sling mods. Uh, I did the extended shifter. I did the extended brake, and of course I went ahead and I got the uh, the LEDs, which is uh, it, it's a, it's actually a must to have. So the next thing I probably do is uh, uh, an exhaust. Right. And, uh, there's a guy out of Texas, RLS uh, exhaust, that does a really good job. Cause this is a little quiet. Will that add a lot of horsepower too as well? Like maybe uh, five or so? Maybe just a little horsepower, not a lot. But uh, the LEDs make a big difference. And uh, when you see the... What do you mean the LEDs? These, these come with halogen. Oh, okay. Halogens. This is a 2020. The new ones, uh, the 2022s, I believe come with... Uh, uh, LED standard. Gotcha. These came with halogen, and so I went ahead from Sling Mods and got the LED upgrade. Oh, you did? Nice. Yeah, it's supposed to be a plug and play. Don't believe that BS. <laughs> uh, hour and a half later, some bloody knuckles. Finally got it. Brandon from Sling Mods. You heard it here first, guys. When I see you, we're gonna have to have a little talk, buddy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just fun for you know, around the neighborhood. Absolutely. You, you know the way, you know, where we live, we just kind of take it for granted. You know, we live in paradise. Yes, so we do. So after the gym, I'll take a cruise by the beach. You know, we live five minutes from the water. But, you know, you take it for granted when you see it, you know, all the time. So I take a little cruise by the water after the gym, stop, go over to, you know, have a, a, a beer and a taco. And 100%. And I'd be on this thing all the time. Now, uh, uh, does your girl love it? You could double on this, right? Yeah, yeah. What's good about this is this is uh, the, the rally. Uh, got little foot pegs here and uh, we'll cruise you know take our evening cruise to the beach you know stop right. and have you know go by the dive bar and have a you know a, a, a little lobster absolutely or something like that but uh this actually has three different modes it has an echo mode it has a sport mode and a rally mode does it really like a car almost yeah the the sport mode they say that if you're on a dirt road you can actually do you know some drifting i'm not drifting <laughs> no, I like to. The reason I got this is a little bit safer than a motorcycle. I'm not planning on you know heading down I-95. It's just you know around the neighborhood. The only drifting you do is when you drift off on a yeah, little nap when, at one yeah, o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, I drift off to sleep at night. After, hey. that's the only thing. 
<laughs> but yeah, it's it's just a fun. I plan on doing some more modifications. Uh, as far as uh, I think the most important thing right now is uh, putting an exhaust because this one's a little a little quiet. Right. Uh, just so people know you're there, right? Too for like safety. It's definitely a safety concern. Yeah. Like you, this was you know pretty quiet. And, it is uh, quiet. Yeah. The, the RLS, uh, like I said, would be the way to go. I think, you know they have three like a Predator, a Core. Oh, it nice. really has a nice growl to it. Right. But not too loud where you're not get pulled over. Easy so. enough to get a nice aftermarket yeah. uh, exhaust yeah. for this though. That's yeah. not that big of a but deal. I've seen some people that you know they redo as far as the, the wheels. Uh, if you want to find as far as a lot of information about aftermarket stuff, right. uh, there's actually uh, someone in Boca, uh, Riker Rides. Uh, her website's very uh, informational. She has a YouTube channel too, which is good. So, time to shut her down. It actually, oh, is that, is that it, say over yeah. here? So, very cool, man. This thing's like awesome. Like I said, um, I think a Batman had a three wheeler, it would be this one. Exactly. Now, compared to your car, this is super slow. This oh, is, it, I was going to ask you, what yeah, kind of motor is yeah, it? it? It's got a, it's got a road, it's basically a ski engine in it. Oh, so, it is? So it's a 900cc, basically ski engine. In, you know, zero to 60 is going to take you six seconds as compared to this yeah, different animal, animal, this monster. But it's more for a leisurely ride. You right. Know, you're not going to break any uh, speed records in this. Right, right. But it's nice and stable. When you ride it, you know, especially around the neighborhood, it gives you a little more as far as uh, as far as visually, you know, than a motorcycle. People 100%. can actually see it. Yeah. But um, I've seen a million motorcycles. I, I've yeah. seen maybe one or two of these. Yeah, so far. you don't see a lot of them in the neighborhood. But uh, it's definitely fun for you know, like I said, just for the for the gym. Yeah. And to scoot around if you want to. Uh, it's it's not a grocery getter. You got you better pack a backpack right. if you're going to. The, and like I said, it's, you went with like the Darth Vader, uh, like yeah. Batman type look. I, I kind of liked it blacked out. I might do uh, a couple more things. I thought about wrapping it. Right. So wrapping it would be really cool. But yeah, uh, what would you wrap it? Like Mad Black is the wrap I, color. They, they have a really cool one that I've seen that's almost like a a, a graphic camo black. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm and sure it, they can do it's it. It's kind of a ghost camo. Some crazy but, stuff. But you it. know, right now this is good for now. Um, I love it, man. I, I don't know. I mean, you've been like totally loving this, or what? Oh yeah, it's it's definitely fun. Um, like I said, uh, I don't take it on the highway much. It's I was going to ask you that. Know, just around the neighborhood. What's it like on the highway, though, just out of curiosity? Uh, on the highway, it's not. you definitely need a windshield uh, for the highway. Oh, right, uh, right. The helmet I have, you know, I have comms where I can see you know, yeah. and all a full-face uh, helmet. And when I go on the highway, I'm completely armored up. You yeah. Know, I have the jacket. I have the gloves. I have the full-face. You know, and you probably should always wear it, in, in, even in the neighborhood, because that's where most accidents happen. Right, it's true. But right by you your know, house. You know, this was kind of impromptu, so you know, I only live a couple miles away, so I scooted it over here. Right. And, uh, no, we appreciate it, man. I, I was telling these guys on the ride over here, I've been dying to see this thing, and uh, you, you called me and said you just happened to be going up the beach, so I didn't want to miss the opportunity to check it out, but uh, also let everyone else check it out at the same time, because. Like you said, you don't see these every day. They're kind of unique. I'd like to know more about them, you know? Yeah. And it does have a, it's called a frunk. Oh, it you does. got a frunk too. I, I got a frunk. And, uh, Guys, just like the vet has yeah. the frunk. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you basically have a little, oh, uh, nice. a, a little space, enough for your. You can go get a, a six pack of Red Bulls. Uh, yeah, a, re a, a registration <laughs> and uh, a cell phone, basically. Right. Nice. But, but, but other than that, you know, it's not. That's all you need, bro. That's all you need. But, uh, awesome. Yeah, buddy. I love it. So, uh, yeah, the, the next time you guys are down Juno Beachway, you'll probably see me cruising up and down the road here. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, I also told them there is a chance we'll do a part two where me and you just go rip the rip the C8 oh, and okay. the Can-Am together. Oh, definitely. Like, put, put them both yeah. in motion. He just wants to put me to shame, guys, you know. Yeah, right, no, I just right, think right blast past me. Oh, it'd be yeah, fun just to it, see it in motion, though, you know what I mean? Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah, we'll definitely do that one. All right, you heard it there, guys. We'll definitely do a part two with, uh, you know, just going out cruising the vet. I need to get Todd's... Um, Review on the C8 as well. He hasn't had a chance to drive it, and I respect. He's driven a lot of nice cars. He knows what he's talking about. So we'll have him let uh, take that for a rip, and uh, give us his opinion on what he thinks about it. All right, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, guys. So that's a wrap on the uh, exciting little Can-Am adventure. Uh, at least part one. Like I said, part two will be us uh, going out and racing around in both the C8 Corvette and the Can-Am a little bit. Speaking of C8 Corvettes, guys, I got the uh, 5,000 mile review 
on the Corvette. I just, I just got, I think I just turned 5,400 uh, miles. And uh, I'm gonna do a review for you on how I feel about the car. I still love it. Other things about it I do not like. Am I keeping it? Uh, just the whole, the whole shebang. So anyone who's thinking about getting this car uh, has, has an opinion from someone who's owned it for almost a year now. I got it last September. So I guess I've had about nine, 10 months maybe. Um, yep, so we'll be busting that out this week. Uh, look forward to that. Get subscribed. Also, we have, uh, we're gonna start some of the, the fitness and workout videos uh, as well this week. So uh, keep an eye out for that. We're gonna be doing some uh, diet tips and uh, cause I'll be doing another cut cycle here to get leaned out um, starting in probably a week from tomorrow. So get subscribed guys, lots of good stuff coming up and uh, we'll see you on the next one.